up you guys welcome back if you're new welcome and today we're just gonna do like a little chatty get ready with me talk about some things with the channel maybe some possible changes and um, yeah I'm gonna do kind of like a draggy look with the bare beauty volume Un. if you guys I haven't used this in a while so maybe you don't remember her but oh talk about greens mama bare beauty's got you so we're gonna play with that I'm gonna do kind of a, a draggy look and we're just gonna chat okay so starting off with my benefit poor professional primer I freaking love this I lost the cap though cuz I'm a mess yeah just just in case you're wondering I'm still a hot mess yeah that is never changing so uh, changing speaking of changes I'm really, really, really considering just going down to like two videos a week. Uh, maybe doing three videos if like something pops up. Um, you know, like there's like a big launch that I'm excited about and I need to get videos out like super fast. So, you know, I'm not the last one getting a video up about it. You know what I mean? Or if, you know, your girl lands some PR and I need to get the video out ASAP. We might do three videos a week, but I'm thinking about going down to two videos a week. Um, for this reason, um, I would like to do more lives and having to constantly film videos all the time and working all the time, it's hard to find time to do live streams, so I'd rather just do two videos a week and then maybe hopefully find time to do more lives with you guys, whether it's on here or on like TikTok. I just recently finally hit the requirements to do lives on TikTok and I haven't done one yet <laughs> and I would really like to. So. Um, that. My voice sounding like this and being sick for almost, you know, that like I'm a week four now of being sick, um, uh, doesn't help. I'm actually sounding better, believe it or not. It's just I've been coughing. I had like a huge coughing fit before I started filming, so I sound horrible right now. But when I woke up, my voice was like almost back to normal, but it's gone to crap since then. <laughs> Here we are. But I'm feeling better. I'm getting a lot of this out of my system, so I think I'm going to be fine. It's just getting it all coughed up which is disgusting by the way but it's also starting to come out of my nose so that helps but turns out I just wasn't drinking enough water and getting enough sleep getting enough sleep is still an issue but I've been drinking a lot more water and I'm feeling a lot better so I think that was the thing <laughs> I needed to do was just drink more water but like I said um, I'm gonna go in with foundation now I'm of course using the flawless in real life foundation from Sharon C. I would like to go down to just two videos a week except for spooky season because there's absolutely no way we can get anything done with just like one normal video and one spooky video. So spooky season you will get three videos for sure but I think the rest of the time I'm just gonna do uh, one video a week unless something comes up that I need to do three videos a week and then that way I can have more time to do lives or just play with makeup and do some creative looks and stuff like that you know what I mean I just need to free myself up because I feel like I'm doing too much and I'm getting myself burnt out a lot like I took way more easy weeks this last year than I thought I would and I think I'm just burning myself out so for the sake of myself and for the sake of like actually loving what I do still I think I'm gonna go down to just two videos a week guys <laughs> if that's okay with you like I said I'm planning on doing more lives so, if I'm doing them on here, you guys can still watch the lives on here, and we'll see. I just, it's something I'm seriously considering, and the more I think about it, the more I think it's a really good idea for me to do that. So, I know it's kind of a bummer for you guys, but you'll still have me. Just not a designated video, probably. But I'm not going to start that until going into the new year. You're still going to get a Friday video. Friday's video is actually going to be sort of a yearly roundup of like my favorite launches and like favorite makeup discoveries that maybe had already been in existence. I just hadn't tried them yet. So if you're interested in that, stick around. A lot of the products that you're seeing used right now are going to be in that video. But I think it'll be a fun video for you guys. And a good way to end the year, you know? But starting next year, I think I am going to go down to just two videos a week. Just for the sake of my own mental clarity. And then I'll have time to do more live streams. 
We are three boxes behind on the Hunt to Killer lives, guys. Because of me being sick, I haven't really had a voice to do live streams. So, I meant to get caught up on my vacation, and then I was sick my entire vacation, and it just has not worked out. So, we're going to we're gonna get in on that. But I'm thinking about ending my subscription to that as well, because it's like 35 bucks a month, and honestly... Like, I enjoy doing them, but I'm getting so behind on them, and it's like 35 bucks a month <laughs> per box, pretty much. So, it's it's an expenditure that I could easily eliminate because while I enjoy doing them, it's just not worth it to me to continue doing it. You know what I mean? Like, that's 35 bucks a month I could put towards a new launch that I'm excited about or something like that, you know? Or something that you guys want me to try out. Like, I don't know. I'm just trying to free up my budget a little bit. Going in with my Star Gem Concealer, I'm not sure if they are open again or not. Like, the last couple of posts that I've seen from the brand on Twitter, it seemed like they were advertising a sale and stuff. So I assume that the website's open now. But I messaged them to find out and they've never messaged me back. So I don't know if Star Gem is open again or not. But if they are... You can use code Alonity to save 15%. I just, um, I'm not sure what's going on. And I can't seem to get an answer. Which is fine, I know Jay's busy, but... I would like to know for sure if I should be promoting my code or not, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's going on. Give me a freaking bone here. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Glam Light White Icing Primer on the eyes. So, going into 2022, I asked on Twitter and Instagram, I got a few responses on Twitter, didn't really get any hits on Instagram at all, but I'll open it up here too. Is there any, like, upcoming launches that you guys are interested in seeing me try out for you guys? Let me know. Um, I have already ordered the e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer, or whatever it's called, the, the new primer that they launched that, like, they were already, um, everyone was calling the e.l.f. Mint Melt Primer, a dupe for the Milk uh, Primer. And this one is supposed to be even more tacky, so I'm really interested to see how it stacks up. I, of course, tried the Mint Melt Primer. Still not entirely happy with Elf. I haven't refollowed them on any social medias. If you guys remember, beginning of the year, I was all about Elf, and then that whole thing went down with the Twitch stream launch, and uh, they kind of... Referred to gays, trans, and non-binaries as female allies, and after that, they never apologized for that. They, like, they never addressed it at all. They just, uh, dipped. Waited a few weeks till everything blew over, and then they started posting again like nothing had happened, and I'm like, nope, I still remember what you did. So, I haven't been supporting Elf for using their products and tagging them or anything like that since that happened. But I know some people still are. And that's fine. You know, maybe they don't know what happened or maybe it doesn't affect them. But I like to stand in solidarity of everybody. So I dropped them. But since you guys wanted me to try it, I bought that. And they had a huge sale. So I bought a few other things. Because I was like, well, why not? Might as well get the most out of my shipping. You know what I mean? But... Just because I'm buying that to try for you guys does not mean that I support Elf or their actions. Just want to clarify that because no. And I'll say so again in the video, but not okay with what they did or the fact that they like never even acknowledged it. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's what made me mad. I'm like, how are you just gonna, like they're, the, them saying that about the, the gay, trans, and non-binaries being female allies was in an apology for something they already screwed up for, too. That that was the best thing. Was, like, they already made everyone mad about one thing, and in their apology for that thing, they made everyone mad again, and then they just dipped. <laughs> they were like, okay, there's no pleasing you guys, and they just left. But on Instagram, everything stayed the same, like, nothing had happened. They were still posting and, like, interacting with everybody, like, nothing happened at all on Instagram. But on Twitter, where we were actually calling them out for their actions, they, like, wouldn't post anything or interact with anybody or if they did interact they only interacted with the positive comments they didn't interact with the negative comments at all or address anything 
it was a little shady. I'm just saying. I have not forgotten. Going in with my uh, kimchi tawny contour, by the way. I didn't say. Sorry. So, is anyone doing New Year's resolutions this year? Because I honestly don't do them. That way, if I don't stick to them, I haven't disappointed myself. You know? If something good happens, great. If not, that's fine too. But I just find that if I like set a resolution, then it just stresses me out and I don't like that. So I just don't do resolutions. If I can make a loose goal and stick to it, great. If not, no pressure, you know? But some people find it really motivating to have New Year's resolutions. I don't know. I'm just not one of those people. I find it like stressful, so I just don't do it. But if you do, what are your New Year's resolutions? Is this something that can help you? Do you need like an accountability buddy? Because I can totally do that. I guess if I had a new resolution, it would be to do more live streams. But like I said, if I go down to two videos a week, that'll free me up to do more live streams. So I think if that were to be a resolution, I could meet it. Ooh, she chiseled. Okay. Hey, I'm going to go in with my cheeky threesome apple bottom cheeks. I freaking love this thing. I'm trying to think if there's any other like big upcoming... Things. I really haven't seen a whole lot of launches that I am super excited about. You know what I mean? Like, nothing's really appealing to me. I don't know if I just have too many palettes. So I see what's coming out and I'm like, I already have that in like two different palettes. You know what I mean? That I don't really use anymore anyway. <laughs> I really need to do like a declutter. But, I don't know. Like the last launch I was really excited about was the Glam Light. I see launch and I got it so I will be interested to see what kind of trends emerge for the coming year um, I was talking with us with Rory the other night and he said he thinks the big trend next year is going to be like nude and neutral looks like a, a going back to like more of those kind of looks which not here <laughs> not here we're not doing that I'm sorry I just I can't that is not my jam, but um, I will be interested to see if he's right because, I mean, with Blend Bunny coming out with a neutral palette right now, it does kind of seem like that's going to be what it is, and that's just not for me, so we'll see. Everyone's going to be doing neutral looks, and I'm going to be over here going, like, full drag. Why not, you know? I've been tiptoeing around it for a while now. <laughs> Let's just go right in, <laughs> like... I don't know. I just, I, I don't, neutral looks have their place. Some people do some stunning neutral looks. I'm not saying that it is not a valid beauty thing, okay? It's just not for me. I don't like it. I get bored doing neutral looks. I've only done a couple of them here on the channel, and I really hated them. I'm all about colorful makeup, and I just, I don't like sticking in, like, the brown family. Or even like neutral like pink looks. I just not enough for me. They're not enough. Any neutral look I've done, I had to pop on a whole bunch of glitter because I just couldn't look at myself <laughs> with the neutral. I don't know what's wrong with me that I just I can't do it. It's so boring. To me. To me, it's boring. That doesn't mean that you can't do it, okay? Like you wanna do neutral looks, you do neutral looks. Whatever. I'm going to applaud you anyway. I just personally will not be doing them. Unless I get put on PR and it's a neutral palette, and then I guess I'm going to have to do one, but I'm not going to enjoy it. I'm going to embellish the crap out of it with glitter. Just so we're all clear. Oh, yeah. There we go. See, you can't have a blinding highlight like this and do a neutral look. You just can't. It's all about soft glow, and that's just not me. Not a soft glow kind of gal. Just not. All right, going in with my Kim Brawley Brow Pin. I think um, also 
a trend I would love to see go away in 2022 are soap brows. I freaking hate soap brows. I can't, I just, ugh. There are so many people, every look they do a soap brow, and I'm like, ugh. Why? Like, the eye look will be so gorgeous, but then I just stare at the brow because I'm like, no. I hate them. I hate them. I know some people think it looks good on them, but I don't think it looks good on anyone. I think it just looks stupid, and I hate it. And I think um, someone was saying they think that it's going to go back to, like, a skinny brow, you know, like the really thin brows, like the 90s brows. Let me tell you something, okay? I know so many people who pluck their eyebrows down or wax them down to that thin little line in the 90s, and then they had trouble growing their brows back out after that, and they regretted it so much. So if that becomes a trend, do not do it, okay? If you want that nice thin brow look, glue your brows down and draw them on, okay? Just do yourself that favor. Don't actually thin your brows down to that point, okay? Because it's not worth it. I lived through the 90s with these thick old eyebrows. I got made fun of for them, and I kept them. And then when they came back in style, not too long after the 90s, I laughed at everyone. Just saying. Don't do it. <laughs> okay. For the lips, I'm going in with the Red Velvet Lipstick from Glamlight. It's a gorgeous red. Gorgeous. It's a gorgeous red. Okay. I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with the Basic Witch Beauty. This is a brand new brand that launched recently. Um, I think they literally just launched this month in December. And um, they make their own stuff and I really love, I mean, I love supporting any brands anyway, but I really love brands that like actually make their own stuff in-house because they put so much of themselves into the brand, like literally. They make everything by hand. So any brand that actually makes stuff by hand, I am very proud to try and like support in any way. And I actually was their very first customer. So this is, um, what was this called? Blood Moon Lip Gloss. And you actually can choose like your own scent that they are flavor that they put into the lip glosses. And there was like a whole long list of scents too. So it's pretty cool. Definitely check them out. I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to look them up. But it's a very, very new brand. Like they're still just on Etsy. They don't have their own website yet. So. Mm. I can't remember which flavor I picked. I'll throw it up on the screen. But it's very like a fruity Okay, now before we get into the eye look itself, I want to go ahead and map out my liner. And to do that, I'm going to try a brand new liquid eyeliner. This is from Wet n Wild, and it's called Break Up Proof Waterproof Liner. Okay, no, it's not a liquid liner. It's a like a gel pencil liner. Okay, we'll try it. I'm gonna try it out. We'll see. I may go back to my glam light very fast here. I don't know. This is supposed to be black as black, but it's more of a gray black. I'm not, not digging it as much as I do. But it'll do to kind of mark out where the liner is going to be for the look. That'll, we'll just use it for that. Definitely not going to be my new go-to, that's for sure. I want to do a halo inspired drag look this time because I just haven't tried it yet and I think it'll be fun so that's what we're doing today I'm gonna go in with the light green right under the brows and I am gonna kind of blow uh, the green out to like the temples I want to be really dramatic with this I don't know why I'm just feeling being dramatic okay I'm gonna go in with this sort of emeraldy green And we're just going to do that on either side, but not in the middle. Okay, and then right in the inner corner, let me get a smaller brush. We're going to go in with the deepest green. Okay, and then along the bottom of the liner, we're going to do the deepest green. 
And then we're going to blend that out with the kind of emeraldy green again. I'm going to take a pigment from Sugar Pill Cosmetics called Flora. It is freaking stunning. Ever since I saw them posted on Instagram, I had to have it. Like, I had to. And then on Singles Day 11-11, they had a special sale on their loose pigments. <sighs> I snagged it. I snagged it at a bunch of other ones. It is so gorgeous, though. So that's what we're putting in the halo because I have been dying to play with this. I'm probably going to do it in the inner corner as well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But for right now... Ugh! Okay, it's not showing up on camera yet, but you guys, it's so gorge. Okay, this is basically our look. I'm just going to do the Lumi over a white base right there and then redo my liner and throw on some lashes. I'll be back with the finished look. Here is our final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions for things you want to see me try or if there's some more uh, laid back tutorials that I haven't covered yet that you guys would like me to do, let me know and we'll get into that in the new year. Um, like I said, Friday's video is going to be like kind of a recap of like my favorites of this year. And then new year, who knows what we're going to bring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any suggestions and I love you. Have a happy and safe new year and I will see you on Friday. Love you. Bye.